In this video, we will tell you a bit more about our categories of heritage-led innovation. If you have not seen our working definition of heritage-led innovation, check out our handbook or our previous video. Based on this definition, we started checking what was already happening in Europe, we mapped projects or activities, and we found that there are reoccurring trends in heritage-led innovation, which we distilled into three main categories. These categories take into account the diverse roles heritage can play in an innovation and its interaction with different sectors. First, heritage-driven innovation happens when you implement a new idea to meet the specific needs of heritage assets, for example, due to their unique values, materials, or construction techniques. It is developed by experts in the heritage sector and meant for the heritage sector, but in some cases, these innovations can then also be transferred to other sectors. They are usually related to material and service innovations. Let's check a case. This is Enrico Sassoni from the University of Bologna in Italy and I'm here to present the HAP for Marble project which was an individual Maris Glodowska Curie Fellowship funded by the European Commission. In this project, we managed to further develop an innovative biomimetic treatment able to tackle all the main deterioration processes affecting marble in sculptures and architecture. This was achieved through interdisciplinary knowledge exchanges and in-situ testing. For this reason, in 2021, HP for Marble was awarded the Illucidar Special Prize for Heritage-led Innovation. So thanks everyone at Illucidar and thank you for listening. Second. Assimilation of innovation takes place when people in the heritage sector take on board existing technologies and innovations from other fields, allowing a better preservation, decision-making and management, or new uses and promotion of heritage assets. The examples of this category can range from 3D laser scanning to new communication material. Let's check a case. SiamAX is a software for translation of text into 3D animated sign language. This complex software system was developed as a quick and affordable solution for enabling sign language by using an animated avatar. While the avatar was already tested for websites of public authorities and a variety of companies, a new transaction was made to enable its application in a museum context. This transaction involves two specific groups of experts. Those who cover the special requirements of museums, and those who master the complex software system that combines several technologies. However, translating the software and sign language avatar for all audiences in museums is not a mere combination of expertise. It entails an exchange of knowledge. Third, heritage as a resource are innovations that come from using the values of heritage assets, which can be universal or very local. Based on those values, new ideas or processes can be generated, or new ventures and collaborations fostered across disciplines and generations. Many of the innovations of this category can be linked to the cultural and creative industries. Let's check a case. The industry and heritage of print and paper have a long and central role in the history of Europe. The Estonian Print and Paper Museum, founded in 2006, is dedicated to preserving the skills and machines from print, paper making to book binding. Taipa preserves this shared heritage in an innovative way, creating value for and preserving the values of historical printing and paper making through the intersection of contemporary tools and traditional techniques. The museum also promotes innovative artistic and skill sharing approaches and the rich program of events. For being a remarkable example of heritage-led innovation, in 2020, Taipa was awarded the Innovation in Sudara Special Prize. This inspirational example shows how innovation can stem from the understanding of historical technologies and techniques. This was a quick overview of our heritage-led innovation categories. If you want to know more, or check a lot more examples, have a look at our innovation handbook and the shortlisted projects for our special prizes. Thank you for daring to learn about heritage and innovation. See you in another video.